How you guys doing today? Well, today I'm gonna install some intake. Got a filter, got some intake pipe. Got some rubber seals. Got some adapter stuff. Some rubber seals. Hoses. And then some vacuum stuff. Adapter. Some more. And then the shield. And we're gonna install that. To my tundra all right let's get Seven. to it tundra um what you want to do first is just kind of remove this shield and then remove any piping and the stock intake box as well so to remove the shield engine cover you just lift it up and it comes off and you just put that aside and then just remove this clamp and then remove this intake box and then unplug the sensor transfer this sensor into the new intake and then um, undo all the clamps and do everything from this box out. All right, here's the noise without the intake. It's a stock intake box. Big shout out to my guys at Old for installing this Pioneer Double Den for me. Thanks a lot, George. You're the man, bro. Uh, I went ahead and removed this section of the intake, of the stock intake. You gotta undo this sensor. Uh, there's a clip right there, undo that. And then this gonna wrap underneath. Just like this. And then you take this out. So these two hoses right here, it's gonna go into these, this two pipe. Um, they have the fitting inside the box. So it's gonna be like this. Okay, and then the sensor, which is from this guy, transfer that into this. And then you're gonna clip it from right here. So, all right, just move this big box right here. Right, the next step is um, in put these fittings into the pipe. Um, what I like to do is I like added extra protection, uh, get some Teflon tape, and then just Teflon the fittings as well. Um, this do not come with the kit. So you just gotta get your own. If you want to, if not, then just put the fitting on, you're good. All right, next stop is uh, you wanna undo the clip for the intake box, stock intake box. One here, one here, and one here. So it's gotta pull it up, pull it out. Pull it up and then pull it out. And one back here. And the whole intake box should come out. Stock filter. Ooh, wow, it's pretty dirty. And then you want to undo all the 10 mil with the 10 mil socket. You got one there. You got one on the on this one um, you got one there and that should be it uh, I went ahead and undo the two bolt one here and then one on this side so this whole thing would slide right out so it's kind of hard to do one handed but um that's it one there and one there this is what the area is looking looks like. All right, go ahead and transfer this sensor into this spot right here. It's um, it takes a fill up. All right, it looks like that. All right, the next stop is we're gonna put this rubber seal on the heat shield of the intake, and then uh, I already did it already, so. It's gonna go like right here. Something like that. I'm gonna figure it out. 
it's gonna go like that all right now these comes with all these fittings and brackets and everything so i want to figure out what these brackets are gonna go um i know that this is gonna go inside here on this back side of it um these two um it's gonna go on these one of these so i'll figure it out when it's on the truck um this black one is for the intake so it's gonna sit like this sticking out and then on this back side you're just gonna screw the intake box into these holes so um let's figure out what these are for okay all right the kit um it's missing a couple of the nuts and stuff so i'm gonna try to i got these laying around six millimeter um extra bolt that i have laying around so i'm gonna see if i can rig that up somehow and uh because they're missing like some nuts and stuff but it is what it is okay so i think i got this going down um this bracket got a weird shape to it so this goes right here underneath this fuse box um gotta loosen that bolt as well and then this other one is you gotta put it right here screw the stud in and then you put this on top then you mount this bracket like so so i think that's how it's that's how it goes and then the other one um it goes into this hole right here it's gonna look like this side of it all right looks like i got it um this l bracket attached on top it goes onto the bottom of the frame the body actually um this bracket goes right here and then this bracket has a little like, spacer on it you space that up bolt that down put that down um that's it and then tighten that air tight tighten up all the bolts That's pretty much it. And then go ahead and put the filter on, put the screw on, um, put the pipe in, and then um, we should be ready to go. So right now I'm gonna test it. Make sure everything closes good. Oh. All right. Cool. It closes. it again it's the lever right here all right cool it looks good and go ahead and uh finish it up so i got a problem with this trout um, the hole doesn't line up so i want to drill Drill these two guys out a little bit wider so that way I can um, get a boat in there. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, drilled the hole bigger and then um, put these washers on. And then uh, that's how it looks. And I used a different bolt as well. Uh, the one that came on did, it didn't fit very well. All right, let's see how it is with everything put back together. All right, so this comes, this couplings come with the kit. Um, this goes inside here and then this goes into the throttle body and then this goes to the filter on the sh shroud that we had and then this connects to the vacuum two vacuum hoses and then this is the the sensor that you plug it back in and then uh, put all these clamps back on and then uh, we're good to go all right here's the final product the sensor is plugged in Got a lot of room clear, Club couplers in, um, filters tighten up, the adapter. Um, it comes with a fitting. There's a little plastic adapter in here as well to connect the two. Vacuum hose go back in. Um, clamps, all good, all nice and tight. Filters in. All right, to put the cover on, you want this piece right here. There's a little groove for it. And this side as well, it's a groove for right here. So those thing goes in first, and then this rib, this ball looking thing here, goes into this thing. So there's one there, there's one there, and then there's one right here. 
So you just close it in. All right, you're all set. All right, we're all set. Um, it pretty much took me about maybe 30, 30 minutes or so. Um, the hardest part was just find the right nuts and bolts. I had to use some of my bolts um, to make everything fit. But other than that, let's go test it out. Got some little intake noise. All right, I'll take the video. Subscribe.